Uh, I just wanted to come and show you my kind of um, things that I've been collecting for a little while. So I'm just going to raise my tripod slightly. I don't know really whether kind of anyone is <laughs> all that interested in stuff that I've been kind of picking up. Um, but I know that I like watching people's kind of what, what you would call kind of your vintage haul um, kind of uh, collections. So I thought I would come and show you my kind of recent um, purchases because I was kind of excited. Uh, when I managed to get them all. So um, as I've collected them over the last couple of weeks or few weeks, so they're from different um, shops really. Uh, so the first is this gorgeous magazine, Women's Weekly. It's from 1957. Um, I love all of the adverts here. I mean, Heinz Beans, <laughs> Liam Perrins, Worcester Sauce, um, Rye Vita, just love all of these adverts. Colgate there, thought this was absolutely gorgeous, this magazine. Um, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to actually use them yet. Uh, I love these pictures, aren't they? Just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, I mean, look at these gorgeous images here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So it looks like this is um, a new novel, kind of a sample of a novel. Or it could have been something that was released, I guess, to the magazine. I'm not really, not really sure, but it's got horoscopes in there. Um, just really nice magazine there, and love the uh, paper. It's got um, gorgeous, like pattern details and things for making clothes. Really nice. So, yep, love that. Not quite sure how to use that, but I thought I would share that with you. Then I got these couple of books here, Sleeping Beauty and Little Red Riding Hood. I also got another one of these um, that was Cinderella, but I love, love, love it so much that I've already um, taken it. I've had it kind of scanned in and copied a lot of the images and coffee stained them all and working on another journal, a Cinderella one. Uh, so it's currently all over kind of in my craft area. So. I couldn't show you that one, I'm afraid, because it was in, in bits now. But this is Little Red Riding Hood. Um, such pretty pages in these books. And these um, books, I'd never heard of them actually before, but they're delightful key classics. And I did see a date on them somewhere. Uh, 1979. So not wildly old, but old enough. Um, so that's Little Red Riding Hood. I've then got Sleeping Beauty. Also gorgeous images in this. Um, these are much more muted actually than the Little Red Riding Hood images, but really lovely. And who doesn't love the story of uh, Sleeping Beauty? So there's that one. That one's really nice. This one actually is um, 1984 by the looks of things. So a bit later. Um, and then I got these gorgeous books from another shop, which these ones are just lovely. Uh, the first one, nine, um, again, lovely, lovely pictures. And I love all these kind of illustrations all around the edge of the page. They are just gorgeous, aren't they? Um, so I thought I would share, share these with you and show you these because I just thought they were just such nice books. I took these um, to my mum's the other day and my sister was there so I showed showed them. I don't think my sister was um, particularly impressed. She's not a crafter and I think found it strange that I would be so excited by these but I love them. Uh, this one 1972, Paddy Gets Into Mischief. Um, again gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous images. Love all these kind of wildlife pictures. They're just so pretty aren't they? So I'm looking forward to um, using these books. I think they're really lovely. Although, actually now I'm kind of flicking through again and talking about them, I mean a lot of the images are quite big. So I guess I'd have to kind of cut them in half or maybe fold them. Kind of have to see. But again, it's got the gorgeous black and white illustrations around the edge. Then this one, The Lonely Kitten, this is rather lovely. This is from 1976. <clears throat> Again, lovely images. I mean, God, look at this. It's just lovely, isn't it? And this, just 
so 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 pretty really lovely aren't they and my daughter obviously saw them and she said um oh i like those books mummy <laughs> i think she thought they were for her so uh, I felt really mean, but I, I did manage to pick her up a couple of, you know, modern day princess books while I was at it. So I kind of said, well, these mummy's books, you know, these ones are for you. So, but as usual, they always want the one that you've got, the one they're not allowed to have. This one is my absolute favourite um, because I love the colours. It's so vibrant. So Pipsqueak joins the band. This is again, 1976. Look at these pictures. They are so vibrant and so beautiful. I absolutely love them. Um, yeah, just always drawn to colours, really, and colourful things. And look at how gorgeous this is. I literally, I it, well, I'm torn between can't wait to use this book and don't want to use it. I'm going to kind of start um, not wanting to part with them. So uh, I was recently watching, um, going through Rock Paper Treasures, has some lovely videos, um, really nice. So I've been enjoying her videos lately and I think it was her, she had one and was talking about hoarding and how as crafters, um, I'm not going to generalise and say all of us, but I think a good few of us kind of have a problem with parting with things that we absolutely love and so therefore hoarding things. Um, and she said that she hoards her vintage ephemera. So yeah definitely I'm kind of like struggling to part with this book in particular I mean actually I think what I should do is kind of in future you know like as soon as I buy something if I'm excited and really really love it just get straight home and actually just cut it up straight away and use it straight away before I get too attached maybe that's kind of the way to go so that's that one and then I got this whole pile of these um, Ladybird books. I don't know whether kind of these are a British thing. Um, these were kind of, uh, I noticed watching a lot of YouTube videos. Um, oh, I think they're called the Golden Books or something uh, that a lot of people seem to pick up. I don't know whether this would have been our equivalent, but these are kind of like Ladybird um, books, which were around when I was a child. And... Um, I was really, really excited to get these. I mean, look at this. This was 15p originally. Um, and the ironic thing is, you know, we have to now pay more for it as a second hand book. But gorgeous images. So this one is Books Are Exciting. So it's kind of got images in here, all different images in this one. So that's rather nice because it's got a whole variety of different pictures um, in this book. And they're all in colour. And the pages are really nice because they're not glossy. They'll be really nice to um, coffee stain and things. And, you know, you could write on them, paint on them. They haven't got a sheen to them or anything. So they're just ideal. And this one was dated... This one's dated 1967. So that's that one. Got this one, Talk About the Park. Oh, I mean, look at that lovely image. Gorgeous. This one's full of lovely, lovely images. Um, just really, really, really like it. Again, I can picture myself hoarding this one a bit much. So maybe I need to kind of, again, just cut this straight up and kind of use it instantly before I get into attached to it. But aren't they just lovely images? Really love them. Love them, love them, love them. So there's that one. And the date on this one was 1975 there. Um, so that one's really nice. And then this one, British Wildflowers. Now this has gorgeous images. And I was so lucky because I managed to pick up two. So I've got two of these. So um, the date on these, the date is 1957. And this has got amazing, beautiful, beautiful images. Aren't they stunning? I just love them really 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 love them and they're actually in really good condition these books so um yeah they're just absolutely perfect i'm thrilled with them really 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 chuffed so um again i don't think my husband quite shared my excitement and couldn't quite see what had um you know thrilled me quite so much with them but just really like those uh images in this uh, book so that's that one 
Oh, look at that lovely image. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous. I really, really love it. Yeah, love that. I wish it would say where some of these um, pictures are meant to be, unless they're literally made up, I'm not sure. But anyway, really beautiful. Love it. So that's that one. And then I got this one here, Heath and Woodland Birds. And this one, see if I can find the copyright to see the date for this. Uh, okay. 1968. So, I mean, even this image, I just, just really like even just that one. Um, gorgeous images, though, in this one of all these birds. And, I mean, look at this stunning page. Isn't that lovely? So, again, can't wait to use this one. Yeah, look, that's just lovely, isn't it? Oh, really, really nice. Oops, these pheasants here. Oh, pheasants, I mean, they're just constantly running out in front of your car, aren't they? But definitely like to kind of live on the edge. But love these. Turtle doves and stock dove. So these are turtle doves, this is a stock dove. They're lovely, aren't they? Beautiful, beautiful images. So I won't completely bore you going through the whole book but anyway that's that one and then I was excited to get this one uh, this is Mick the Disobedient Pup Now I don't know when this was originally from but it says two and six net now I don't know quite what that means it was pre-decimalization so I don't know what that means and I don't think I could find a um, a copyright stamp or anything on this so I couldn't find how old this actually was uh, but I mean I guess pre-decimalisation I don't know when that happened but anyway so uh, yeah anyway lovely images again in this book so I'm guessing it was kind of maybe late 50s I don't know um, but I look at this gorgeous image here and this with the sheep and the dog <laughs> this one with the naughty dog getting out oh now he's heading for the sofa not good. Oh, maybe he's been told off now and he's out to the kennel, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, that's a lovely image, isn't it? Chasing the cat. I mean, they're just such pretty images. They're just lovely, aren't they? And look at how beautiful this lady is. Beautiful. So that's that one, so I was really chuffed with that. And then my final one, um, which has been kind of here. Let me raise my tripod a bit more because this one's actually quite long. So this one here, it's a kind of magazine, um, the Illustrated London News. And then when I open it up, oh, it's just beautiful. Now I bought this several weeks ago and it's just been kind of under my desk. So um, I'm gonna share it with you guys now. I haven't got the foggiest how I'm gonna use this or what I'm gonna do with this, but this is actually from uh, January the 25th, 1936, the date on here. Uh, so it's an original um, uh, magazine and it's obviously focusing on the death of King George um, is that the fifth? Uh, anyway um, so celebrating or oh, not celebrating sorry <laughs> not celebrating celebrating his life but obviously um, commemorating you know uh, noting his his death so there he is, um, he must have died, it says here, uh, January the 17th, um, so yeah, this was January the 25th, it says here, so um, beautiful images on this book, oh, this magazine, absolutely lovely, really lovely, but obviously they're massive, because um, it is quite a big kind of magazine, so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use this, um, and obviously, I mean, royals were kind of our celebrities, you know, of, of that time. So it obviously is mainly, I mean, obviously it had been the issue after his death. So, of course, it was all about him anyway. But they did have another one from a bit later. And that also seemed to focus all about the royals. Um, because I think, you know, that, that was our version of celebrity, wasn't it? Kind of back then. So... You know, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use this, but I just couldn't leave it there because I just thought it was so lovely. I mean, so old and in such 
fantastic condition. I mean, there are one or two pages that are torn, if you can see here, where they've kind of stuck together and then they've torn. But on the whole, it's absolutely amazing condition. Um, I mean, look at this gorgeous image here of a telegram. Just lovely. It says here, I'm deeply, deeply grieved to inform you that my beloved father, the king, has passed away peacefully at 11.55 p.m. tonight, uh, Edward. So lovely, lovely um, piece of memorabilia there. Um, yeah, picture here, there, uh, I guess when he was earlier in his marriage. Um, just lovely images, love all these smaller ones, which obviously would be a bit more usable. And then here, um, got kind of paintings and things here, where the rest, I guess, have photographs. But, oh, I mean, it's just lovely. And I, I just always feel completely um, in awe that things can last this long and be in such good condition. You know, that somebody's actually held on to this for this length of time, and it still is, you know, other than the odd tear, kind of where the pages have got stuck together, it's really good condition it's amazing amazing that things can kind of last for that long so let me flick through a bit a bit faster because you're probably now all completely bored but yeah as I say I mean I just wanted to come on and share my purchases because I know that I enjoy watching other people's videos of what they've bought um always completely envious of people living in America because wow your craft shops um are so awesome and things are so cheap there um I mean, especially things like Tim Holtz stuff over here in the UK is so expensive um, and very rarely on offer. And they don't kind of seem to have coupons and things here. So, uh, yeah, always kind of a little bit envious. I did go or I have been to America a few times, but last time, um, oh, I just had a whale of a time. And I mean, I literally had to bring home a whole suitcase full of craft things because it was so 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 cheap and I was wow loving it loving it so uh, yeah always kind of love to watch people's videos to see what stuff they've picked up because um, it's just really exciting and you just seem to have access to amazing things so uh, I just thought I would come and share my um, purchases so I hope I haven't bored everyone to tears obviously you know <laughs> don't stay with me if it's really boring um, but I just wanted to come and share these things because because I was excited by them and obviously people in my house kind of didn't quite share my excitement so hopefully some of you guys might. Um, thanks very much um, and have a good day. Thank you.